if you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here? We don't have a choice. It's the right thing to do. If that's how you view humanity, are we even worth fighting for? That doesn't mean we should give up and stop fighting. So, I guess we should thank the machines for teaching us compassion. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> Who wants to be a bully? Who's Perry? You mentioned him before. You killed a drone with a rock? Seems you were a tough kid. That huge guy. Was that Perry? Way to make a good first impression. Whatever happened to the scientist? Whatever happened to Perry? Sounds like you were late in joining the Destroy Skynet campaign. I'm not surprised. You were still just a kid. <laughs> the first metal you destroyed was one of ours? Not a good start. Was Mac the one whose drone you smashed? A little too good to be true. See, there are still good people out there. But... It was stupid of you to trust them in the first place. You're lucky someone found you. I'm guessing there's no happy ending to this story either. An infiltrator. Your cellmate? One of those guys who robbed you? Do you need help with anything? How did you know about the Annihilation Line? How did you become a doctor? What happens at those camps? Who else was in that camp with you? About that camp, what work did you do there? How did the machines communicate with you? Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? What was your plan? Were you still behind the Annihilation Line? Did they go after you? You never told me you had a husband. Was he at that camp with you? Did you know each other before the war? What was her name? Did Peter feel the same? What's in your mind? Have you tried looking for him? Are you thinking about anything in particular? Do you want to find him? Do you want to stay? Do you need help with anything? Seems you were very close. What was he like? Not at all. That was very clever. You're right. That's pretty stupid. Seems like he helped a lot of people. You won't live long enough to make a difference if you can't protect yourself. Was he a sports fan? Sounds like a champion of dad jokes. Aren't you curious about what happened in Pasadena? Pretty weak for a scavenger. How's that even possible? That's not surprising. After all, that's where your home is. I thought Patrick was your brother. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. How was she? I guess I'd be scared too. Did you blame her? Is there something on your mind? I don't think I'd make for a good role model. Thank you. It means a lot. But what did you think about it? Knowing your father, it couldn't have been a good joke. What do you mean? Did it ever get to you? Is everything okay? You seem far away. You can tell me anything. You don't have to if you don't want to. What did you do? What did your father do? He saw you? Did you lose consciousness? I'm glad you did. You don't have to be afraid. Do you remember Judgment Day? You have a brother. Band. <laughs> Where was it? Couldn't you look away? What was it? What's on your mind? What did he do? How did you handle it? Did you contact the military? Did you drive someplace safe? How many cities were hit? Did your city get hit? What happened after you started your camp? Didn't you try to reach home? When did you first hear about Skynet? You played in a band. What was your band's name? What did you do? What did Tucker do? Earlier, you said that a new era started. What changed? What did you do about it? Did everyone agree that you should be the new leader? More Terminators? Weren't you scared to go inside? Did you stay there by yourself? Did you come back to tell everyone? Pipe bomb. This will do some damage. This might come in handy. Uh, interesting. Colin tells me there's a resistance outpost nearby. I should go look for them. Uh, it's locked. Yeah, it's locked from the other side. I don't have enough resources. That'll work. Shit! I've been spotted! I've been spotted! Shit! They heard me! They heard me! Shit! It heard me! I think it heard me. I think I've been heard! Ugh. I need a med kit. I need to patch myself up. Maybe I could blow the trailer doors. I should be able to blow up that wall. A book. Disarmed. I'm out of ammo. I'm out! Shit! I'm out! <laughs> Modified. Plasma rifle upgraded. It doesn't match. I can craft a med kit with these. I can craft a lockpick with these. I can use that to craft things. On August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. On that day, three billion people lost their lives. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Then came the Annihilation Line, a line that separated the living from the dead. Composed of an army of Terminators, the ultimate killing machines, it kept advancing. Its purpose? The total extinction of mankind. Even though we were far from the line, random Skynet attacks happened almost daily. But the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. Looks like one of our scouts is coming back. 
Other than that, everything's quiet. Wrong. What the? What is that? There were no survivors in any of our outposts. The entire Pacific Division was destroyed, and no one even noticed. We'd been compromised. I needed to warn Commander Baron, leader of the South Division, and tell her what I saw. I needed to tell her that a new chapter of this war had just begun. I don't know. No. What? I'm through. This is Private Jacob. I am. Who are you? What's there? Hello? I know you're scared, but staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? We don't have time for this, kid. Quit your crying and let's go. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. I don't know. I came here looking for them myself. I thought Pasadena was safe. Get down! Get down! They're gone. This Aaron, has she seen the Annihilation Line? Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Colin's right. We should leave now. I'm out of ammo! I'll search for other survivors. Ryan told me that you might have a med kit for me. I'll manage without it. If I'm going out there again, I might need it. Anyone there? Hello? No one's here. Is anyone here? Nothing. Anyone in here? I've come to get you. There's an evacuation point not far from here. You need to get there, fast. I already took care of it. It's safe now. I'll see what I can do about it. Yeah, I took care of it. Tell Ryan I'll be back soon. There are still some places I need to check. I need more time. I don't see anyone else. I'm heading your way. I'm out of ammo! I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. It wasn't the Annihilation Line. It was something else. To be honest, I'm not sure myself. <laughs> Are you always such an asshole? What do you want? Were there any resistance in Pasadena? What about your father? What happened to him? I've got to go. There's a lot of supplies there. Looks like someone left them for us. What was that with Colin? What do you think about Ryan? I've got to go. This is Rivers, over. I found something. What's a plasma storage doing so close to a resistance outpost? Alive. A dog? It's coming from there. <laughs> what are you doing here, boy? Hey, I know a kid that'd take care of you. Come on, don't you think I know that? Ryan asked me to look for something. A garage. Maybe I'll find a set of tools in there. That should do it. I did. South Division has definitely been here. What do we have here? An attack order signed by Commander Baron. And it's only from a couple of days ago. No guards. Not a good sign. A map. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like they were keeping an eye on an old university hospital not far from here. Are you there? Not yet. I'm going to the second spot. Maybe they're there. Resistance? Oh, they must have moved on to that hospital. All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin! Can you hear me? All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin? Can you hear me? Colin! Shit. Colin, where are you? Can you hear me? Colin, talk to me. Colin, God damn it. You. Soon after, I lost consciousness. Hours later, they found me lying in front of our hideout. I made it out alive. But not all of us did. Colin's dead. And the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. Did I bring that on him? Do I have Colin's blood on my hands? I told them about everything. About the stranger about that thing that killed Colin, and about being marked for termination. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere's safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Soon, I regained my strength and continued my search for the Resistance. I decided to head to the old University Hospital South Division was preparing to attack. How long have you been sitting there? Oh, thank you. Did you go with your sister? She's already at the medical district? How's Mark doing? How do you feel about Colin's death? Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? I've got to go. How about Max? Maybe Wolfie? I don't know. You wanted to talk to me? How's that bus coming along? See you later. Hey, what noise is it? Sound decoy? I don't think you should go any further. I have to go. That could be the resistance. I'll see what I can do. You! Right now you need to start answering some questions. Hello? Uh, this is it. I wonder if I could control those turrets with the hacking device. Oh god. 
He's from the Resistance. The others have to be here, too. Private Jacob Rivers, Pacific Division. It was wiped out. I'm the only one who survived, and I need to meet with Commander Baron. Understood. Just south from here. I'm on my way out. I did. I helped them escape from that hospital. They're supposed to come for me soon. Good night, Jen. No need to worry. I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. No, I didn't. Uh, good night. Yes, sir. Understood. Aaron wants to join me. What about you? What do you think about enlisting? Is everything all right? Your sister is right. Get back here. It's too dangerous. Uh, Patrick, what do you see? Maybe there's something valuable there. Good job, Patrick. It's a military training manual. I've got a meeting with Commander Baron. I'm leaving soon. Are you sure? No, I have to meet Baron first. But I'll come back for you. Let's go. I need some more time. Looks like we got here first. Is everything all right? You seem a little out of it. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> no, not really. Sure. Stay out of this, Jennifer. This doesn't concern you. Jennifer's right. There's no need for any of that. A few weeks ago, the outpost I was stationed at was ambushed by a Terminator, I think. It was half man, half machine. The entire Pacific Division was wiped out by a single enemy. And we didn't know it was a machine. It could walk, talk, bleed, sweat. There was no way to distinguish it as an enemy. It infiltrated us perfectly. I I'm not sure. How did they know? Ugh! Whoa! Everything looks well organized. That infiltrator said something about me being marked for termination. Sounds dangerous. I hear you have something for me. I did it. Seems easy. I'm Private Rivers. You got something for me? What do I do with them? That's it? Can I see your hardware? Gotta go. Not yet. I need to collect the rest of my stuff from our hideout. I'm sorry, I, I can't talk about that. We were ambushed on our way out of the metro station. There was nothing we could do. He died protecting us. I'm sorry. I'll talk to Aaron. I heard about Mark. What happened? You smoke? I've been ordered to go to Pasadena to collect some intel. Is there anything you need from there? What's that? You didn't change your mind about joining the Resistance? I'll be on my way. I see you got that bus running again. Where did you get that? Have you changed your mind about joining the Resistance? I am. Do you need anything from Pasadena? Are you sure? Yep, I am. What is it? Chalk? I'll see what I can do. I am. I reached the first vantage point. I'm sending you the first set of pictures. Second batch going through. That's the last one. T-47. I've got a visual. Got it. Sending it right now. T-47 neutralized. T-47 neutralized. That sign. That has to be Jennifer's house. That's Jennifer's father. <sighs> Poor guy. Empty. Now where's the rest? Huh. <laughs> is that a map to your hiding place, Patrick? <sighs> Looks like this is it. <laughs> That's quite an imagination you've got there, Patrick. Okay. That should do it. Commander! I've encountered Skynet's plasma storage. Plasma storage destroyed. That's gotta be Colin's hideout. Looks like Colin rigged this place with traps. <laughs> I better be careful. I'm in. Dispensary? There has to be a hospital nearby. <sighs> That's the hospital. Dispensary. This is it. Huh. <laughs> Aaron will appreciate that. Looks like Colin was really prepared. Or maybe he was planning to open his own pharmacy once this was all over. And how are you doing? I, I never asked you. What are you planning to do tomorrow? Good night. Lower your gun, Ryan. He's the one that saved my life. What do you want from us? All right, everyone, get out! It's the same one. It's the same model. Go! 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 Watch out! Uh! We were able to escape thanks to the stranger. He sacrificed himself and buried that infiltrator once and for all. With Patrick hurt in that explosion, they had no other option. They had to join me at the resistance shelter. Baron listened to us. She could no longer deny that this infiltrator was a real threat. She decided to take everyone in. On her terms. The shelter was on high alert, and everyone had to pull more than their own weight. But, thanks to the intel I gathered in Pasadena, we slowed the advance of the Annihilation Line and gained some time. Just enough to start preparing the counterattack. At ease. How's Patrick? Getting ready for another scavenging run? Doesn't sound like her. I need to report to Baron. Rivers! DN 46890. Are you all right? You mean Ryan. Jennifer? How's Patrick doing? Is there anything you need? And what about something other than medicine? Take care. How are you doing? How do you like living in the shelter? Yeah, tell me. <laughs> That's funny. I don't get it. That wasn't funny. No, I'm busy. How's Jennifer? I have to go. Hey, Ryan. How's everything? What did you hear? See you around. You wanted to see me. 
Doctor, is there a problem with the radio? Central core? I'll get right to it. What? What's happening, Private? What about the Doctor? Where's Alvin? All right. Is Alvin still there? Then we're not leaving. We have to bring him back and see what the hell is going on with those defenses and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm moving out. You stay here with the wounded. At this point, it doesn't matter, does it? You two follow me! We have to reach those defense systems! Lead the way! What's the status? Doesn't seem to be working! Alright, we need to reach our guys! Let's clear the way! Keep moving! Flank it! Now! Shoot before it reboots! Finally! Cover! Follow me! Oh shit! We need to rescue the dock before those tanks reach us! Wait here! I'll go get the doctor! Alvin! What happened here? Why are the defense systems not working? Baron's messengers. We need to leave now! Watch out! Are you alright? We need to move! Go! I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Ariel! Okay, go! Don't look back! We lost downtown. Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals. Understood. Do you think the infiltrator's back? Now that you mention it, one of our soldiers said that it looked as if one of our guys led Skynet's attack. You want me to break radio silence? I'm moving out. What's up? Can't you ask Jennifer or one of the other scavengers for help? How are the wounded doing? I have to go. Patrick, you're up? Huh, wasn't expecting to find you here. You always seem to be out these days. I see that Patrick's doing better. Why did you want to leave? I've got to go. Okay, I'm seeing two GPS trackers. Those should be our guys. What the hell are they doing here? More plasma containers. Looks like Skynet's here for good. The signal's getting stronger. He should be somewhere around here. Hello? God damn it. They took his radio. The Baron was right. Skynet's listening. Time to look for the second tracker. I think I'm getting closer. Uh, it's got to be here. Anyone in here? They got him too. Oh, his goggles look intact. Let's see the last picture he took. The infiltrator. It's back. <sighs> Baron was right. Commander! They're dead. Everything turned out the way you said it would. Why would she give out our location? Flamethrower! If I could get close enough to take a picture... Not good enough. Needs to be perfect. Got it! That's where the outpost used to be. I hope that destroying it slowed them down at least. I wonder if one of our guys dealt with this outpost. Another storage facility. They keep popping up. If I take care of it, that might slow them down a little. That should buy us some time. What's that music? Well, it seems to be coming from here. Upstairs. Who left this here? It's probably a trap. Figures! <laughs> Better be worth it, Ryan. So you risked my life. Aren't you afraid that Skynet will bring a lot of firepower if they know we're both here? What if it's one of our guys, or just a scavenger? This time? I can't tell. I think that might be it. Grenade! Over here! It's inside! On it! Grenade! Another grenade! Die already! Commander. We got it. We finally got it. The infiltrator had finally fallen. There was no doubt anymore. Skynet had created a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. Even the hyper-alloy combat chassis was much more resistant than ever before. Our weapons were outmatched. We could barely handle one on its own. We wouldn't stand a chance against an army of them. But the real reason the Infiltrator was Skynet's best weapon yet was because of its skin. It was designed to blur the line between a man and a machine. People started to think that there were Terminators amongst us. Wolves in sheep's clothes. Some of us left. Even though we hadn't seen any other infiltrators yet. Or at least, we didn't think we had. And that fear of not knowing was what turned the tide of this war. That night, Skynet won. Yes, sir. How will I find him? Um, anything I should know about Dr. Mac before I leave? I'll be on my way. Of course. I'll see what I can do.